been a real emotional day for everybody at the, at the football club. I think, you know, about 10, 10 weeks ago, we were about 13th or 14th, and nobody thought we got a chance. But uh, we had faith in Graham and Jimmy, so well done. Um, it's been a fantastic season, but also missing a, a very important person here today, um, who would be very, very proud um, to be associated and you know what will happen today and that is Phil Ledger who sadly passed away as you know in that sort of January and you know Phil, Phil put 42 years into the club which is you know and then his, his family his father's involved in it which is probably I think our 100 odd years of existence they contribute about 70 percent of that football club history and it is those sort of volunteers that when I took over that I'm absolutely amazed that it, it, that actually brings this club together. It is a small business, but it's actually run by volunteers. And without those volunteers, this club wouldn't be where it is. So, you know, and I want to sort of, sort of say thank you to them. But we also had, sort of tragically, Thomas uh, died just before Christmas. And, and we had, you know, one or two other people die. So I think before we start, you know, going to the rest of them, I think it's very important that we stand up and sort of, you know, drink to absent friends. So if I could ask you to please stand up and drink to absent friends. But also, um, just to go on, before I go on my, my bit, obviously to thank Chris Norrington today. Fantastic work you put together to put this uh, event on for us and the food for all the, the catering people. Uh, so, a round of applause for Chris and uh, thank you for Also, for me, coming from Guildford and working with the Guildford Borough Council and working with Wokenborough Council, it is a bit like chalk and cheese. So, they are here. I think Wokenborough Woken Council, certainly the people I've involved with, most of them, are very passionate about working and you know, I'm very, very grateful for what they're trying to do to take us to help with the, the facilities around. So th thank you to them. But also, our main sponsor, Peter Jordan, Calais Gas. People just... <laughs> Peter, apart from sponsoring the football club for the last couple of, you know, last two years and carrying on sponsoring it, but the work that goes behind some of the work he does there after, you know, getting his staff down and everything else and, and, and being around there and plus all the other stuff that he gets involved in. Um, you know, a lot of people don't see that. So thank you, Peter, not just for sponsoring working the football club or everything else you do in the football club. Um, for me to sort of take the limelight and sort of see the figurehead but to be honest if it wasn't for the, the board and everybody else behind the likes of you know Barry, Peter, uh, David, uh, with the, the other Peter, Jane, um, James, it's, it, it just makes it work well together. So thank you for all of the support you've given me over the year. It, I am sort of new on the sort of kid on the blog and as Graham put it today. Um, inexperienced chairman, so thanks. But <laughs> I didn't read it, but no, but, it, it, but it's, it's, a, it's a valid comment. It is a new thing, it's a huge club, it's a big learning curve for me this year, and I'm sure it's a learning curve for everybody else. So, but it, it is one of the, it's the most, best club I've been involved in, so thank you for letting me be part of it. Um, then, a few, few other volunteers before I go in there, like Nick Shaw, and uh, Michael Phillips for the website. I think we have... <laughs> we, we probably have the best site, not just in this league, league, league above us. Same thing with the, you know, the programme. Brian Caffrey, he's not here today unfortunately, but he's uh, also moving away. But I still think it's probably one of the, the people that are helping him. I still think that's probably the best programme, I'm about to say it, but it is the best programme we're in, certainly in this league, without a doubt, if not even in the, in the proper professional league. So, and I hopefully we just need to keep raising
raising it every year, really. So thank you for that. And you know, the press team, fantastic stuff. You're getting there. It's a lot more controlled. In fact, we'll probably get you about too much information than what we should do, but uh, that's what it is about. And really, the, you know, having the BBC, Adrian, I know is here, but to actually have the radio commentary on the internet or, or on radio to all our supporters to face a thank you for to BBC, sorry, I'm working with the mail. Um, for me, just the personal views of the club, I mean, as I say, I've been there a year really, um, and um, you know, we, we went down last year, as everybody knows, I'm stating the obvious, but, um, you know, there's a uh, lot of things needed to put together. Now, what we've done this year, I think, is um, bringing everybody together, work together and take it forward. And I think that's been uh, uh, you know, a fantastic achievement. Um, I think, we, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we actually, there was, we got more things right than wrong. Never going to promise that we won't get anything wrong, but hopefully we did get those right. Um, and, and, you know, to see probably, um, you know, to say Graham and uh, Dennis, who runs the academy, will come and talk about it, but to have one, two, I, I don't know how many, every, every team's won their league almost, or have won their league, won a cup game, a final in the National Cup Conference as well, the first team in the playoff. So it's probably a good time for me to sign off, really, isn't it? So I second, I've you know, done that bit. So, uh, uh, but it's a high, and it's a fantastic, but it's a, it's a big challenge coming up. It's still a lot of work needs to be doing at this club. So, and that's really a lot I can say about it. Um, um, apart from the support I've had from Graham and, and, and Jim, really. I know we were very closely together. I think people don't realise that how much work that... Jim and Graham puts behind the scenes what people see is on Saturdays, you know, 90 minutes or, or Tuesday or week, week, week game. But I know how many games they go and watch and come home at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, the players. And it, it is a big club and it has a big pressure. Uh, but, they, you know, they're just competitive people and I think, um, you know, they, they like the challenge. And I think, you know, they've actually, both of them have absolutely excelled, overachieved fines I can see this year, so thank you very much again guys, I can sit here and talk all day about it, but you know, I think thank you from me and the board, so thank you very much. <laughs> so I'd like to um, so obviously apologise to uh, so Jim really for not running with him tomorrow, uh, I whipped out. Um, but, <laughs> I know, he's, he's full time, you see, that full time tag is going in, that's the thing. Uh, but he's done fantastic, he's been training every day, he's done about 16 miles last Sunday, so we're going to go and support him tomorrow. So, and he's raising funds for Surrey Care Trust, as Aidan said. So, you know, we as a club want to be part of the community, and that's what this means going get involved in, and, 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 and Jim's doing something for the community. And the community is a big part for the club. This club is what I would say the hub of the community, and we need to be seen as is that. And those results we're sitting at a table talking about it. The players that are here today, you make or break people's weeks. If you have a good result on Saturday, that makes people's weeks. So I think today you probably made everybody's months. So I think thank you very much. <laughs> James Bond runs the community and, and the work that goes in the community, you know, you just have to look at the website. Not many people know what goes on there, but the, 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 the amounts of kids that come to the Woken Football Club, the, the focus group that James does, uh, it's, it's, it's a fantastic achievement. And, and clearly, I want to thank you know, Jeff, Jeff in the bar, Barry in, in, in the... Uh, and we're looking after the main uh, boardroom, Hazel, Jennifer, all, you know, I've got too many names to mention, but thank you so much, and I think it's, 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 it's a great setup. So, I really don't want to go any more about it. Uh, what I really like to do is probably get Graham uh, up here and Dennis and really talk about the, the get Dennis to talk about the academy and the, the reserves team and uh, Graham talk about the first team. So, really, thank you very much for supporting Wayne Football Club.